PC Wizkid here with a part two video of the Patriot Viper RGB memory kit that I received not too long ago. I did some benchmarks on that. If you've seen the video or haven't, click on the link here at the top and you can watch that. And uh, basically today we're going to run the software, the free Patriot RGB tool that allows you to configure these effects. So by default, it comes with a whole range of RGB colors or the whole rainbow there for you to uh, enjoy. But if you want to tweak this and change the effects to something of your liking, well, you'll need to download and install the tool like I did right here in Windows 10. So I go ahead and launch the tool. First things first, I've already configured it to some pink colors here. Looking at it from the top, those, this here is the top view. And then you can select the colors starting from one side to the other of the memory module. and uh, the different colors that you want to appear in each section. As you select those, you'll notice that it changes there in the uh, diagram, in the picture, to give you a preview. But if you want to actually apply the changes, obviously you'll have to click on the Apply button. And it takes about a second for it to take effect. You can see there that I just changed it, and now it's changed to that red, orange, and white color. Okay, White being the center where the word Viper is. Now I'm using the Marquee effect. If I want to slow it down, obviously I can use the slider there to basically put the speed to my liking because sometimes it's a little bit too fast. And uh, if I want to adjust the colors, of course, I can go ahead and change that a little bit. Uh, you can save it un under those profiles. As you can see, I've already have some profiles. And um, like I said, it's pretty easy, intuitive to, uh, to use this utility. It's just a matter of you getting familiar with what are all these different lighting effects and the color choices that you have and then saving those under different profiles. So my preview there at the top is showing you basically instantly live how those changes are happening. And I really like the uh, heartbeat. The heartbeat one is really cool and the marquee. Those two are my favorite out of the whole list of uh, the light effects that it has to offer. Now, uh, I got another profile here, one two, three, four, and five. Under five, I'm going to do some more changes in there for you so you can see. Now, this heat shield color, that's depending whether you bought the white or the black heat shield. We have the white one. And under the light effects, you can see that there's a whole bunch here. Uh, the breathing one is also, you know, pretty straightforward. That's more or less the standard one that we see a lot these days when it comes to RGP, uh, RGB uh, lighting effects. Breathing is the, the most common one. I'll apply that there so you can see what it looks like on the default medium speed. Um, I find the medium speed a little bit uh, slow for me. So, I mean, I like to raise that to, to a higher uh, level so I can actually see the breathing happening a little bit faster. And that's, uh, you know, up to you how you want to adjust it. There's the breathing. And uh, what else can we show you? The Viper basically highlights the word Viper in the center. So, again, you can change the colors to whatever you want, apply it. And then you'll notice that the light kind of stays on in the center there for highlighting the word Viper, okay? Uh, so you can show off your memory, do some colors on the side, but the Viper is always going to be highlighted there. And again, you can uh, adjust the uh, lighting if it's too bright or change it around the colors if you want. Um, what else can I show you here? Next, we've got the um, heartbeat. Well, yeah, heartbeat I think I've shown you already, but we'll just quickly show you that so it's going thump thump and then down thump thump and then down again that's on the medium uh, speed setting uh, if that's too fast for you obviously you can slow it down if it's too bright you can lower the brightness or change the colors around even if you want and the marquee like I mentioned that's kinda like my favorite it's got an interesting um, movement I guess of the LEDs scrolling up uh, as you can see right there, kind of filling up and then uh, going back down. So that's kind of cool. I like I like something different. Uh, and the marquee definitely fits the bill there when it comes to uh, a different type of lighting effect. Uh, raindrop, not bad. Let me change this actually to blue, different types of blue and white for the raindrops. So you can see what I'm talking about here. And then, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at default speed. Put a little bit brighter there, maybe and you can see how fast it goes. Wow, that's uh, pretty fast, those raindrops. Maybe a little bit slower. There we go. And uh, you can see it basically is supposed to simulate drops, I guess, uh, random drops of rain. The uh, Aurora, well, not too crazy about the Aurora, but that's there, you know, if you want to just uh, have that uh, type of glow going on with the Aurora, that's fine. And then... Uh, if it's too bright, again, you can adjust the brightness. 
Uh, and then the last one on those light effects is the neon. Again, uh, that's not necessarily my favorite of the bunch, but it's there in case you want to use it. And of course, I do recommend you do software updates in case they add more lighting effects, which would be pretty cool if they did. So I uh, can't wait to try and uh, do some more updates on that one. But there you have it. There are all the options, and there is some settings here, basically for the background of the software, uh, you know, some more color changes and fonts, so you can, I guess, for, for, the, for the actual utility settings. But other than that, nothing uh, much to talk about there. It's pretty straightforward. If now it's all up to you. How do you want to configure your RGB system? Do you want it to be a uh, rainbow and full of unicorns like this, or maybe you want it to be a single color or a bunch of colors maybe you want it to be red and yellow like fire and you want everything to be kind of coordinated and red and yellow and bursting and heartbeats and stuff like that i mean pretty cool the imagination it's all up to you I'd like to thank patriot again for providing this i'll add the link right here for you if you haven't seen the benchmarks review of this uh, ddr kit and again comment below and thank you for watching